I'm Dale Smith for Looney Politics, and a big test is coming up for the federal government shortly around Saskatchewan's um, proposed refusal to remit the carbon levy, um, assuming they actually go through with what they're threatening. Now, part of this is because Premier Scott Moe has made the false assertion that um, because the federal uh, exemption on home heating oil um, only benefits the Atlantic provinces, which isn't true, and won't affect the rebates, which is also not true. Um, he's trying to create a justification for this um, decision not to re, uh, remit the, these levies. Um, and we'll see if that actually goes through. Because part of the problem here is that it's not the government that is at uh, risk here, but it's Sask Energy as the Crown Corporation. Now, Mo and his energy minister have been trying to um, create some legal fictions around what they're attempting to do and doing things like trying to deregister Sask Energy as the distributor and trying to register the minister as the distributor, even though that's false and um, illegal and um, not actually uh, like it's as, as a legal fiction, it's in t incredibly transparent and there's absolutely no reason why the CRA should actually accept this. Now, uh, this is where the problem will start coming in, is because if they don't remit in February, as they're supposed to, um, this means that the directors and officers of Sask Energy will be legally liable. Um, because also that the federal carbon levy relies on the criminal law powers in order to enforce it. So that could mean some kind of prosecution as it relates to large fines or even possibly jail time for those officers or directors. This is what the legal fiction is supposed to get around in terms of making the minister the one responsible and not the directors and officers. But, you know, it's a legal fiction and um, any court would throw that out. So what we may end up seeing is the directors and officers of Sask Energy resigning en masse rather than being told to break federal law. Saskatchewan may get back down and pay the levy, but if they don't, it'll be up to the federal government to stick to their guns and actually enforce the law. If they don't do that, and if they go along with the legal fiction around the minister, then all this does is create more incentives for other provinces to start breaking the, the federal laws in other ways. And that is just a, um, a recipe for absolute lawlessness around the country. And the federal government should not allow that to happen. For Looney Politics, I'm Dale Smith.